What's going on guys? Aaron Goldson here. In this video, we're going to go over how to hire virtual assistants to run your Amazon dropshipping business so it's fully automated. A lot of people ask me to make this video. Don't want to hold anything back. So here we go. Now, let's talk about what a virtual assistant is and why you would want to hire them to run your Amazon dropshipping business. And then we will get into, there's actually five different things. So we'll get into the, the, five, uh, the five steps for doing this. So the reason to have... What is a virtual assistant? A virtual assistant is basically an assistant. Someone that helps you out. They could kind of be like an employee. But they're virtual. So that means they're like, they're not sitting there next to you. They're basically online. It's basically hiring an individual to help run your Amazon business. Why is this so important? Well, let's take a step back. Let's look at the Amazon. Let's look at the McDonald's business model. Why is McDonald's so popular? McDonald's is kind of expensive to get started, right? It's half a million dollars up front you need to have. And then you usually got to borrow another half a million to a million on top of that to open up a McDonald's. Why do people like McDonald's though? Because the owner of the McDonald's doesn't have to actually be there to run the business. Imagine you own a McDonald's. Have you ever walked into a McDonald's and seen the owner behind the cash register taking your order? Seen the owner at the drive-thru taking orders? Seen the owner flipping burgers? Seen the owner, seen the owner mopping and cleaning? No. What the owner does is the owner hires employees to run all the different aspects of the McDonald's business. And the owner can be on his yacht, be on vacation, yet the business is still running because the employees are doing all the tasks to run the business. The other big benefit is let's say the McDonald's get really busy. Let's say all of a sudden lunchtime on Tuesday for what lunchtime on Tuesday guys just gets cranking. Usually there's one cashier and one cook. Well, if Tuesday afternoons, I think that's what I said. If Tuesday afternoon lunches get really busy, they could hire two cooks or two burger flippers or whatever they're called, whatever the technical name is, two cashiers and the owner can hire more help. The owner doesn't have to work any harder, but the owner might make an extra one or two thousand dollars in profit that day. Maybe even four, five, six thousand dollars in profit that day if it gets really, really busy. That's basically what we're doing when we hire virtual assistants. When we hire virtual assistants, you could think of them as employees, you could think of them as helpers, people to help you out with the store. You are going to pay them money and you are going to, you know, have them help out with their time. They're going to provide their time to you. You're going to give them money and you're going to have them help run the different aspects of the business. This is how I, I work an hour. You guys probably hear me in other videos on this channel talking about I make over $100,000 a year in profit and I work one hour a day. And just so you guys know, of course, if we go to my Amazon store, you guys, I'm going to refresh it for you. You guys can see 7,662 sales today. 83 orders over $200,000 in sales in the last 30 days. I do this one. This is my full-time income. I make a, my full-time income is, um, is, is, is drop shipping on Amazon, but I only work one hour a day because I have eight different full-time virtual assistants that run the store. So you see how we got 80, 86, how many do we have? 83 orders today is what we have. And we'll probably have more cause it's not the end of the day, right? We still have more time, right? I actually don't process those orders. I have virtual assistants. So basically I have employees that take those orders and get them ordered. Then I have employees that once the items gets ordered from let's say walmart.com, they will go into walmart.com, get the tracking number for each of those 83 orders. They will take that tracking number, upload it to the order inside Amazon, and get it shipped out to the customer. Cut now, we're gonna have a bunch of customer questions, right? So customers hit us up all the time and they got questions and concerns. I have a full-time virtual assistant and her full-time job is just to handle customer service. So people have questions about the order, the order's running late, whatever it is, she answers all those questions. That's why I work an hour a day on my business because I'm not actually in the business working it. I'm just kind of overseeing the business. I'm checking different things. It's my job to solve big problems. Um, it's my job to keep an eye on things and make sure it's smooth, but every aspect is fully ran by virtual assistants. 
That's the power of having virtual assistants. So I know we've been talking about this for about five minutes. Let's now spend the next few minutes talking about how to hire virtual assistants so you can have a fully automated Amazon dropshipping business. Number one, now people don't like this, okay? There's two types of people that like me. The first type of people, some people don't like me because I just tell them the truth, right? Some people are looking for a way to make a gazillion dollars without doing any work, and that's not this. If you're looking for a way to make a gazillion dollars not doing any work, don't watch this video. If you're willing to put in some work and work hard so you can eventually build and have an automated business, well then keep watching this video. The first step is you have to do it first. You have to do it first. When I got started in this business, I was manually going out there, finding items to list. I was manually going out there looking for items that I could list and drop ship on Amazon. I was dispatching the items. So I was finding the tracking numbers and then I was uploading them in Amazon. I was answering customers' concerns. I was doing every part of the business. Why is it that you have to do it first? You have to do it first because you can't teach someone what to do till you've done it. I can't, I don't know how to play the guitar. So I can't teach someone to play the guitar. Imagine I hire someone to play the guitar and they they've never played a guitar in their life. I say, play the guitar. And they play it, they don't know what they're doing and then I get mad at them. It's not their job to know how to play the guitar. It's my job to teach them how to play the guitar. You have to do it first. That way you can teach it to the virtual assistants. Now, the good news is you don't have to do it that long, right? If you spend, you could spend, a, you know, just a few days on every part of this business and kind of get the hang of it. If you spend like just a few days, like two, three, four days finding profitable items, you can get the hang of it really quickly and then you could fully outsource it to someone else. But you have to do it first. Why? Because the virtual assistant is going to have questions for you. They're going to say stuff like sir or ma'am, depending if you're a sir or ma'am, they're going to say stuff like, Sir, or they call me sir, so we're going to use sir. They say, sir, well, what do I do in this aspect? How do I handle this? I need to know how to fix this, right? We use a software. I'll put the link in the description, okay? We use a software that basically allows us to find an unlimited number of profitable items to list on my Amazon store. I got about 8,000 products listed now, right? That's like one of the secrets. I use a software that does 99% of it. But in the software, there's a few different settings and a few different buttons. It's not the virtual assistant's job to know how to do this. It's my job to know it, so then I can teach it to the virtual assistant, and then they can do it successfully. So number one is you have to do it first. Number two, have clear outlines for them to follow. Have you, listen to me, have you ever had a job before? When you got the job, and you got hired at the job, did they say, on your first day of work, did they say, all right, start working? Or did they have training? Did they train you, right? Maybe they put you through some computer modules. Maybe you followed someone around, right? right? They trained you on how to get good at your job, especially if it's like an entry-level job, right? You have to do the same thing. Again, it's not their job to know this stuff. It's their job to basically just give you their time in exchange for money. It's your job to be able to tell them what steps to do. So clearly outline for them what to follow. And then if they have questions, answer those questions. Number three, manage and oversee them. You have to know, this goes back to number one, you have to know how to do it correctly so you can check different things and make sure they're not messing up. And if they mess up, let's be honest. I see some people and they're like, you know what, I'm just gonna hire some random virtual assistants to run my store. They say they could run it well. Well, I'm not saying they can't run it well, but I'm also not saying they can run it well. How do you know? How do you know they're not messing up the store? See, if you hire someone and they mess up your store, and let's say it gets your account suspended, whose fault is that? Well, you could blame it on the VA, but it's not the VA's money that got, it's not the VA's money that's tied up in the Amazon store. That's your money. It's not the VA's account that got suspended. It's your account. So we have to take responsibility. We have to manage and oversee them. This again goes back to step number one. This is what I spend some of that hour doing every day. It's roughly about an hour, right? Some days I don't work for a few days. Some days I'll work for, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, an hour and a half or two hours. It, you know, we average out to about an hour a day. But that's what I'll spend my hour a day doing. I'm checking different things. I'm looking at, I'm looking at this thing. I'm looking at this thing. And if there's, but I know what to look for to make sure there's not an issue. So if there's an issue, I can fix it. I could coach the virtual assistant on how to make it better. 
right? If we need to hire or fire someone, we could do that as well. But we need to manage and oversee them. Number four, people like to ask me where to hire from. Bangladesh and Philippines, two good places to hire virtual assistants from. People like to ask where to hire them from. Bangladesh is very good. Philippines are very good. Number five, reward them with raises and promotions, right? Like my, um, I've given uh, multiple people on my team raises now. They do a good job, give them a raise. If, if, uh, and usually when I, if I give them a, sometimes it's just a raise, sometimes it's a promotion. They're doing really good here. I see their, now some virtual assistants are going to have to fire, but I see some virtual assistants doing a good job. So I might give them a little bit more responsibility, see how they handle it. Are they self-starters? Are they good at getting tasks done? Are they good at remembering to do everything? If I see that they meet these criteria, right? I want to give them more responsibility. I want that because I'm starting to build this trust now with them. I want to give them more responsibility, right? I want to give them a raise. Sometimes we give them bonuses, right? Little pro tip, Christmas bonuses are like real popular. So you want to give them, you know, you know, something else to consider. The last two years, we've done Christmas bonuses each year. So guys, that's it. That's how to hire virtual assistants to run your Amazon dropshipping business so it is 100% fully automated. This can be a, a tough question. I try to answer questions. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know in the comments. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this and I'll do my best to, to, to see them and do my best to try to answer them for you as detailed as I can. There's also a, a members only Facebook group. A lot of good content gets posted there. So if you look in the description, there'll be a link. You could join our, it's, it's strictly for people that are interested in getting good at Amazon dropshipping. So you're, you can join there. You can connect with other people, learn and grow. It's 100% free to join.